So in the question paper August September 2020 there were two question asked simultaneously okay 10 question B part the question was list the guidelines for construction of street graphs and 9 question A part there was a problem okay a sequential circuit has one input x and one output z the circuit examines groups of four consecutive inputs and produces an output z is equal to one if the input sequence 0 1 0 1 or 1 0 0 1 occurs the circuit resets after every four inputs find the melee state graph the typical sequence is given okay so let us first see the answer to the first question list the guidelines for construction of the state graph this this uh, problem is an example of your state graph okay so what are the guidelines for construction of state graph so you have different steps okay so this will be your answer for your first question so your first step is first construct some sample input and output sequence to understand the problem statement so take input and output sample sequence Second step, determine under what conditions the circuit should reset to its initial state. So for example, in this problem it is given, right, the circuit resets after four inputs, every four inputs. Just similar to that, you have to see what condition, determine under what conditions the circuit should reset to its initial state. Third step, if one only one or two sequences leads to a non-zero output, a good way is to start a good way to start is to construct a partial state graph. So in this case also z is equal to 1 for two sequence, right? 0, 1, 0, 1 or 1, 0, 0, 1. That is non-zero output. So if only one or two sequences leads to a non-zero output, then a good way to start is to construct a partial state graph for those sequence. Okay. After forming the partial state graph, another way to get started is to determine what sequences or group of sequences must be remembered by the circuit and set up states accordingly. The fifth step is each time an arrow is added to the state graph, determine whether it can go to one of the previously defined states or whether a new state must be added. Just checking. Okay. Sixth one, again check your graph to make sure there is one and only one path leaving each state for each combination of values of the input variables. And finally, when your graph is complete, test it by applying the input sequences formulated in part one. That is your first step and making sure that the output sequences are correct. Okay. So these are the different steps that has to be followed for your construction of your uh, what graph state graphs now let us move on to the second question which is an example of your uh, first question okay so here a sequential circuit has one input x and one output z so you are going to take input as x and output as z so x and so here let me take the output as z as given in your problem okay the circuit examines group of four consecutive inputs these are the four consecutive inputs. So inputs is also given 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1 and 0, 1, 0, 0. Okay. Inputs and produces output is given only x. output of z is equal to 1 if the input sequence is 0, 1, 0, 1 and 1, 0, 0. So for these two cases z is equal to 1. Z is equal to 1. For all remaining cases z is equal to 0. This is how you are going to construct your input and the output sequence. The circuit resets after every four inputs. So here it goes back to the initial state after four inputs. Find the melee state graph and the typical sequence is, given, is also given. So you know that what is meant by a melee circuit? The sequential circuit in which the output depends both on the present state of the flip-flop and input is known as melee circuit. And you know that... The circuit is represented by states S0, S1, S2, etc. with input and output values given by a slash, right? So this is going to be your input value and this is going to be your output value. So let us go on to the first steps. First step is the input and the output sequence is written accordingly 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1 and 0, 1, 0, 0 and Z output is also given. So output is equal to 1 after uh, what are the uh, sequence 0, 1, 0, 1 and 1, 0, 0, 1. Your Z is equal to 1 last which is equal to 1 for all other cases z is equal to 0 <coughs> so what does this vertical line shows indicates that it resets to the initial state after 4 bits right so next step is 
you know that for only two cases your output is equal to one so you can uh, start with the construction of your partial state graph taking into consideration that your output is equal to one okay so for that how can we construct let us assume that s naught is a condition that is your reset condition from s naught you can have the two options either your input can be zero or either it can be one that is uh, if it is zero it goes to your s1 and if it is one it goes to your next state s2 now what will be your s3 s3 to this zero you it can be one or to this one it can be zero so either it can be zero one or one zero so so th uh, that's how you have designed your state S3. Similarly, what will be your S4? Either now you have got 0, 1 and 1, 0, right? 0, 1, 1, 0. So 0, either next tick can be 0, 1, 0 or 1, 0, 0. That's why S4 will be either 0, 1, 0 or 1, 0, 0. Now let us do the state graph. So S0, this is your partial state graph, okay? Partial state graph. So you are going to start off with your S0. S0 if the input is equal to 0 and input is equal to 1 you have two states one is S1 and S2. If the input is equal to 0 it will go to S1 if the input is equal to 1 it will go to S2. Similarly what is the output of this corresponding so by see, seeing the sequence you know that for 0 input your output is equal to 0. <coughs> for 1 input the output is equal to 0. So you, you are writing the corresponding output also. So from S1 and S2 it is going to S3. So what are the two options you have either input can be 0 1 right 0 1 or 1 0. So this case it will be 0 1 1 0 input. So it will go to your S3 corresponding output is again equal to 0. So 0 1 your output is equal to 0 1 0 your output is equal to 0. Okay from S3 it is going to S4. Now what is your sequence 0 1 0 or 1 0 0 that is what written here okay what will be a corresponding output corresponding output will be equal to 0 in this case also now moving on to the next case 0 1 0 1 it will reset to your initial state right so what will be your input here input will be equal to 1 so if s4 to s0 so what is, what is your sequence now either it will be 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 what is the second option 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 for both the cases your output is equal to 1 so this is the only difference you have output for all other cases the output is equal to 0 so for this same state you have now the output is equal to 1 so you have got the output is equal to 1 by means of your partial state graph now your it is not over right you have to finish all the options you have to finish you have to construct the complete state graph. So how will you construct your complete state graph? Now you are going to extend the different other different states. So you have to check for all the options 0 to 15. That is 0, 0, 0, 0 till 1, 1, 1, 1. So in this option only you have two options where you have output is equal to 1, right? One is for 5 and one and another one is for 9. 0, 1, 0, 1 and 9 is 1, 0, 0, 1. For all other combination you have the output is equal to 0. So you have to check the sequence for all the corresponding outputs. So now we are going to extend it by. So see here till S4 you had the previous uh, partial state graph 0 1 0 or 1 0 0. Now S5 it will be the state. Two inputs will be received but no one output is possible. S6 three inputs are received no one output is possible so one output is not possible for both the condition you are going to get z is equal to 0 only so now we will see till s4 is <coughs> done now we are going to see the all other options right for example let us uh, see the first option 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 so your output is equal to 0 see here you will be having all the output to be 0 either only in this case you will be having the output is equal to 1. So in addition you are going to add all the other sequences. So now 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1. So you have finished the uh, first sequence right 0 0 0 1. Now for second 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 0. Okay. Next 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1. 0 1 0 0 0 so 0 1 0 0 your output is equal to 0 whereas in the next case your output is equal to 1 0 1 0 1 your output is equal to 1 okay 
next you have uh, 6 right 0 1 1 0 so 0 1 again it is 1 0 so all possible possible cases you have to uh, see and finish the state graph now for 7 sequence 0 1 1 1 then 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 now see for the next case the output will be equal to 1 1 0 0 1 ninth case the output is equal to 1 now all other remaining cases the output is going to be equal to 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 next one is 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 so these these are the different combinations so you have checked all the different 0 to 15 condition and you are getting the input and output to be correct with only one corresponding way okay to that of your initial state so this is how you have to complete your state graph for this problem by means of drawing your partial state graph and complete state graph.